right, everybody, here I am. Um, so let's get started, right? So here's the box and full disclosure, what's going on here. So I spent about $75. Um, opened the box up last night. I was really excited. Couldn't wait for the video. So just going to show you what I saw. Um, $30 is for the pay dirt. $20 for the materials you need to go through the pay dirt. Uh, like I explained to friends and family, it's not about finding gold and getting rich. It's, a, it's about the experience, right? It's about learning and then having the pay dirt from a, a, from a source that you know will guarantee a certain amount of gold. That way, you, when you're looking through the pay dirt, you have, a, you have a sense of what's going on and you know what to expect. And if you don't find anything, you know you need to go back and look again. So this is all just a learning experience for me. I've never done this before. Um, again, this video isn't paid or sponsored. So the reason why I'm doing this video indirectly, of course, when you purchase this, this pay dirt, you, uh, you get this card. It's from Kalesh Gold Pay Dirt. Uh, I bought it from KaleshGold.com. And, you know, he offers discounts for people who post videos of them going through their pay dirt. So in return, the, the amount of views I get. Uh, will get me a, a cheaper rate on the next pay dirt I buy. So, you know, by watching this video, I really appreciate it because you're saving me money because this is something I want to do again and again. And then, of course, I live in the state of Georgia, so I'm able to go out to different creeks and streams uh, on different properties and kind of prospect uh, for fun, right? And I'm not trying to go out there and be a millionaire. This is going to be a hobby, and hopefully I can share it with my kids and my nephews and go from there. So just to start off, what comes in the box you got your uh, squeezer, right? Wash off the dirt from the gold. You got your snuffer bottle. Collect your gold in. You got your uh, vial here that you're gonna put your gold in after you get it from the snuffer bottle. Uh, pretty cool sticker here. I'm gonna add it to my collection of stickers. I really appreciate that touch. Got the classifier here, the kitchen strainer. Get some of your heavier stuff out. See? And then finally is the pan, right? Well, I shouldn't say finally because we have one more thing behind the pan. As you can tell, I already went ahead and I seasoned my pan a little bit just to kind of help out uh, as I'm prospecting, okay? And finally, when I should have said finally, is the pay dirt. As you can see, Kalesh Gold, Beginner's Pay Dirt. This is level 2 out of 10. So guaranteed a quarter gram of gold. Um, like I said, not trying to get rich, just trying to have fun, trying to experience something different. Um, but all right, guys, so I'm going to clip the video, get my setup ready to start looking for gold. All right, bye. Okay, let's look at the pay dirt and the pan. <laughs> all right, I always wanted to do that. That's just homage to Kalesh and his videos. So let's go ahead and take, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna classify it into uh, this uh, kitchen pan I got. It's, should be what we need. Ooh, that's smooth, I like that. Okay. So this is exciting, something I've never done before, and something I'm looking forward to doing, and hopefully doing again, so look at that. So we're going to classify it here. Oh, looks like we got something in the bag. Let's see. Let's see, Kalesh. Guitar pick, and I'll try to get that zoomed in for you guys. Very cool. And it's signed. So yeah, we've got to definitely put that somewhere neat. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to classify this dirt. Now, another thing uh, in the most recent video that I saw is you have to cut this bag open now, right? Uh, there's been concerns about gold getting stuck in the corners and the crevices. It's not enough to just give a tap. So I got my knife here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, by the way, this is Serial or Lies. That's 5062. So, I'm just going to 
good old cut open here. Make sure we get it all out. Probably being a little bit more violent with this than I need to, but you know, it's as I'm going to say a hundred times, probably in this video, this is my first time doing this. So, all right, let's uh, take a look at this classifier and all the good stuff we have inside of it. Um, yeah, I got a nice, pretty, pretty rock there. You know, I I do not know all the names for everything that's going to be in here. So, but I'll definitely put this to the side. I have two daughters and. Stuff like this, it's going to make their day when they come home. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool looking. So, if you know what this stuff is, <laughs> not to sound cheesy, if you know what it is, you know, put it in the comments for me. Just want to give this a good shake make sure you get everything out uh, it's just gonna make your panning experience easier because you're gonna have to sift through two types of uh, material so uh, I'm gonna transfer this stuff to here probably should have just done it this way to begin with but that's all right I am a beginner not an not an expert, but just looking through here, I see some really cool looking rocks. So, um, you know, I don't know what all these are, but definitely would be interested to know. So we're gonna don't see any obvious golds in this collection here, but you never know. Uh, we'll get a little water on there and we'll start working it. But first, we're gonna. Look at this stuff here. This is where the money's going to be at, right? So, I don't see, I don't see anything obvious, but we'll get looking, all right? All right, so I'm going to cut real quick. I'm going to come back with my water and we'll get started on this stuff. All right, all right, here we go. I've got my water set up. Um, this is going to be designated as Big Red. As you can see, it's a fairly large container. Holds a good bit of water. And I think it's going to work good for what we need. Um, I'm going to use dish, dish soap today just to get that uh, water tension broken. Oh, yeah, there we go. Very good. Uh, I'll put a little water in my squeeze bottle here. You know, this is a fun, fun, fun learning, learning experience. So going through it so far, it's, it's been pretty neat. Um, I've done a lot of research, watching videos. YouTube is a, it's an amazing, amazing place to check out if you ever need to know how to do something. So we've got water in there. Let that dry off a little bit there. Get this bottle. Now, you know, I never know. I don't remember seeing how much water you should put in this. I don't really think it matters. Maybe give yourself enough room for air. So we'll just start with that and see how it works. And you know, I'm not just want to learn and see what happens as we go. So just to, yeah, it looks like looks like that's gonna work. My assumption is you need water in here. I don't know. Maybe somebody could tell me. Spray a little bit out. Because I know water is going to get in there as I'm picking up the gold. So, But anyway, a little bit of water won't hurt, I'm sure. So here we go with this. This will be interesting.
thing I remember reading and seeing is you shouldn't be scared to vibrate it. Get it all loosed up. and You really want the weight of any heavy material to fall down to the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit too much soap in my uh, into my container, but that's all right. Nothing's going anywhere. I, 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 I can still clean this all up and start over again, but there's some nice, nice material in there. Uh, that's definitely worth looking at. Oh boy. <laughs> I just saw a little piece, piece of gold. So yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. These uh, big pieces here. So I'll move them aside and take a little peek at them. My daughters are, are going to love love these little rocks here. A little bit more water. Let's, let's just see what I got here. Look at that. Definitely will need some practice. <laughs> But this is really neat. This is I was not expecting to see this as well as I'm seeing it right now. And I'm having a hard time separating it. It's a little bit of nervousness and inexperience. But guys, that's that's neat. That's really neat. I'm going to go ahead and just pick these big pieces off because they're upsetting the, uh, the flow of the water a bit. But uh, yeah, I saw about four or five pieces of gold in there. I am excited. <laughs> Might not sound that way. I definitely need to work. Ah, oh, look at that. I am. Apologize for my lack of talking but my concentration went up <laughs> with excitement here let's see if i can get a really good video and don't worry at the end i'm going to do a better close-up shot but let's go ahead and get these out um i'm going to pause this video real well no i won't pause it you guys are watching me learn and experience this for the first time so Seems like yeah, again, you are all watching me learn and experience this as I'm doing it. I think it makes a difference now that I've just tried it, but definitely water is your friend in this scenario, especially with this. The snoop, uh, snuffer bottle. Nice light taps at the top. Get it all together. And then put a little water down there. And then just, there goes the gold. So that was really, really cool. <laughs> It was a, uh, look at that, see, I'm not doing a good job, but I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning. I missed a piece right there. And like I said, this isn't going anywhere. I'm going to definitely try more. This is a learning experience. So it's an exciting experience, but yeah, this is fun. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep practicing uh, off camera, obviously, but I just want you guys to see what I'm seeing for the first time. Maybe you give me some pointers or tips in the uh, comments, but yeah, that was that was really neat. Uh, I'm definitely need to go through all this material just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But from everything I've read and seen, 
gold is heavy, right? You really have to try hard to get gold to come out of the container. Um, but that doesn't mean I didn't miss something. That doesn't mean I need to try again. So I definitely take that off camera and, and keep working at it. Um, Cause I'm looking through here right now and I think I see a speck, but that just could be my mind. Might've put a little bit too much soap in here. Uh, let me see. All right, looks like Big Red is holding up pretty well. <laughs> so, I think Big Red's going to be my funny uh, name. Look at that. That's an interesting uh, piece. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. It, doesn't, it has a gold tone to it. Maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. It just looks neat. Put it on the palm of my hand. That should help focus better. Sorry. Okay, let's look at this uh, the smaller classification now. I'm going to take my time a little bit on this. I just want to do it right. Uh, I don't want to cheat myself. But like I said, you get enough water in there. I definitely just give it a good shake. You want all the heavy stuff to fall at the bottom. Get all that loose stuff to the top. You just kind of get a little wash off there. It's really cool. I mean, this is, you watch people do it. I've been watching people do this for years. But to do it yourself, it's just a whole different experience. Uh, that just makes it obviously real, but just makes it fun, makes it worthwhile. It's definitely something I can't wait to share with my girls as they get a little bit older and go out and show them, show them what they can do. Um, I just wish, I just wish I was able to do stuff like this was when I was younger, but that's all right. Let to see some black sand here, so I'm going to just give it some shakes. You know, I, I just thought about it. I'm not going to be able to really weigh uh, this material when I'm done, so I feel bad. But I'll definitely share with you what I have when it's over with, but uh, I just want to make sure that y'all see what I see. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, hate the hate the idea that I don't have a skill that would weigh it, weigh it properly, but... Definitely don't need a whole lot of soap. That's and now I see why they say this takes a bit of time.
So. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much, but I could be doing something wrong. Well, this is like driving a car. <laughs> Look at that. A lot of, a lot of patience in this. Um, but I just found another little fleet there. That's exciting, man. This is really cool. You know, I didn't even use this tool. Just get this a little clean up. Now, I think the level two, um, you're not going to find a whole lot of stuff smaller than this because the point is they want you to uh, just be able to learn what you're doing, right? It's about the experience more than what you're finding. And and I could tell you right now that's that's true because this is a lot harder than it looks. But... uh. This has been really fun. I would highly, highly recommend Kalesh Golds. Uh, they definitely know what they're doing. And I will come back and show you what it looks like in my bio. All right. So unfortunately, my scale does not do fractions of a gram. But um, this is really neat. I just wanted to show you guys what the gold looked like close up. and. You know, I would highly, highly, highly recommend Clash Gold. Um, it's worth it. It was fun. You know, I definitely will buy another package. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I, I don't really have a consistent type of video I post, but, you know, I do post some fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, look forward to doing this again. And I look at that, another piece there I might have found. So I will definitely be panning this again just to make sure I didn't miss anything good. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. I had fun.